Hey, we're out here today at the uh, Mountain West Overland Show, Loveland, Colorado, and I am with Kate. And over this <laughs> way is Hey, I'm Grant, Tax Outdoors. <laughs> and Grant's gonna chime in when we have something that's too hard for me or Kate, uh, or vice versa, right? What am I standing in front of here, Kate? So this is the Wooly Bear Overland Edition from Tax Outdoors. Um, it's our Overland Edition, like I said, so it means it has a higher suspension, uh, four, four inch lift, uh, Tembrin axle suspension, rougher, tougher tires, and a lock and roll hitch. Uh, help you to really go off road and go you know, as far down the track as you want. And those are the three upgrades because without it, it'll just say Wooly Bear, it won't say Overland Edition. So if you're looking at this yep. at home, yep. and if you're comparing this to other things, we're going to try to point out a few things that are different, right? Mm -hmm. As we go yeah. through it. Um, first of all, what do we actually call this type of trailer? So we often call it a, a base Tunnel, camp, right? or a base camp travel trailer, or a utility trailer. Um, yeah, a lot of different terms mean a lot of different things to different people. So, okay. uh, and then, how long y'all been making woolly bears? Uh, for about four years at this point. Yeah. And you're making them where? So we make them in Houston, Texas. That's where okay. our company's based. Everything made in the United States. We cut everything, build everything out of that factory. And if somebody's looking to buy one, where, where can they find it? What's the best way, place for them to look? Yeah, best place to look uh, first is to go to our website, taxoutdoors.com. Okay. Um, and from there you can Because a lot of these brands here will sell them. So if you're, if you're listening at home, that's the way you want to do it. You can do it that way. But I'm going to try to do it for dealers because it's close to the home. Yeah. So. That's why it's always helpful just to reach out to our adventure specialist team or inside field team. They'll help connect you with. We're going to keep, walking. We'll keep yeah. walking with the camera here. Who's who's the buyer for these? Uh, so we, we call them a, a, a trekker. <laughs> um, you know, I think trekker. A trekker is okay. sort of our, our term for them. So, um, you know, someone who's primarily going to be a tent camper, wants to really you know, get away from the you know, camp grounds, That's it. They, they can go because you got all that clearance. We measured the clearance earlier. And Grant, how much was that clearance again? 12 inches. 12 inches yeah. there, right? And then the overall width we measured overall from bumper to bumper was like 68. Correct. Yep. And then if they're driving a Jeep, it's the 60, bodies, yeah, 60, 60, 60, or wheels 65, are 60. Think yeah, 60 inches. So it's going to be smaller than the wheelbase of Jeep. And when it comes in, it's garageable. Yep. But if they want to raise it up and, and put, we were talking about kayaks and stuff up there. That's what this. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three different heights there, so you can kind of put it at the lowest if you want to. If you have maybe a smaller brush, you want to make sure it's, you can get in there and put it up at the highest. You want to fit. Yeah. Kayaks, snowboards, yeah. skis, twenty cars in there. Garageable is huge, though, because it, in Houston especially, you know, I mean, a hundred dollars a month, you're safe, and that's not even close. So with the garage, not only can you use it more often, but it's in better condition when you're saving, right? right? And my everything that I'm looking at comes with it. Is the solar panel part of it or no? Yes. So solar comes with. Um, so this comes with it. How many watts we got? 140. Okay. And that tank they can buy or not buy, right? It, it has an option for it. Yep. Okay. And that is a hard sided tent, right? So that's cool. Clamshell 230. And that's the brand you primarily work with off your invoices and stuff. For yeah, for this unit. Okay. Yeah, 230. And then what do we have over here? This is a magnetic uh, fridge, so it fits perfectly in the drawer. Um, not me. Where did that beep came from? So it's 12 volt, right? Yep. And it's plugged in going down the road, and you can pick it up, move it around your campsite? Exactly. This drawer also fit uh, most kind of larger coolers, too, if you want to just throw a Yeti in there or something like Yeah, that. I mean, this looks at least be 45 to 55 in that range as far as leaders go. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, yeah, I can feel the quality of it and shutting that. I mean, that's clicking. Super easy, right? What's the weight bearing on some of this stuff here? Anybody know? It's two, three hundred pounds. Plenty for a couple guys to get up there. To stand up, yeah, okay, cool. You know, four or five hundred pounds, no problem. I've seen this before. There's no water on board, right? Is there a water on board option? Correct. Okay, yeah. so what would go here then? Your jerry cans of water yep. if you wanted to? And they're sized to fit just perfectly in that. Two of them, right? Mm -hmm. I've... You could do four or five, six if you wanted yeah. to, all the way across. If they're that way across? Yep. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yep. you've got the other gallons, okay. Some people also use that to store their firewood. 
and take okay. a bunch of firewood with them or an open cooler. When you're at the base camp and you're hanging out with your friends, dump ice in there and everybody can reach and grab some. Dude, I'll point out too, because this is really important. It, it's right over the uh, axle and wheel. And we were talking earlier, if you want to know more about some of these other, you can go to Dometic, you can go to Tamarin, you can go to 230. So, and of course, your guys' website has a lot about the product itself. This area, what do we call this station? So this is the, the kitchen. So okay. typically, we don't have one here right now, but typically there'd be a, a two burner stove here. You can pull it out, uh, put it on a stainless steel. Is that from you guys? The, uh, the stove, or is it their own stove? People have their own stuff. So, uh, it comes with, comes with a double burner propane stove. It does. Okay. Yep. Do you know what brand it is by chance? Not off the top of my head. Okay. No. Well, there's plenty, and if they want, they can come to one of these shows because you sell them yeah. discounted. Exactly. All over yeah, and you can, you know, it'll fit in the sure. size one that you have. And here's uh, Plug, some plugins. Where's the uh, solar controller? I guess. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And this go up. And down here, just additional storage. Great spot to put extra cooking gear. Camp anything chairs. really. Yeah, it goes Long. goes yeah. goes in kind of down there, so you can. What do you guys think is the most important feature to this customer? What are they looking for the most? Durability. So okay. Strong. It's not yeah. going to come apart on them over time. Yeah. That's really the key. We we build them strong. So, I mean, everything's built to last. You can go out over landing in it. Um, you know, you can really uh, do some rock crawling, go over logs. You're not going to have any problems with this. I'd say also, like, customizability, too. Yeah, for you sure. You know, like, there's not necessarily, like, there's just a lot of options of how, there's kind of two, three uses for everything. Yep. And they can see that on your website or with the dealer. Yeah, right? you see, they can really kind of figure out, you know, different heights, options, with, you know, based on what they want to haul in here. What's your guys' um, warranty? If someone's so, looking shopping, I know they can see it online, but yeah, the the warranty is a two year structural warranty. Sure. And then it's one year on all electrical and plumbing. Okay. So on this unit, it would be on the electrical. Of course. Um, and then the other accessories are pass through warranty from the manufacturer. Pass through that way. Yep. What do you tell them maintenance is? I just bought this. Is at home? What do I have to do to it? You know, really, all you're going to be dealing with on the Wooly Bear um, is, of course, maintenance on the brakes, the hubs, um, axles, and the standard. This has brakes in, right? It does. So some of them don't. And Correct. some of them have surge or electric. So you have electric brakes this on is this? electric brakes, 10 inch cool. drums. Yep. And I've, yeah, I'm not sure I asked you in the beginning, but we can always edit these things, right? So how much does this one weigh? This is for the Overland Edition, it's 1,270 pounds. All right, uh, under 1,300. Under 1300. Without the Overland, it's what? It's under 1,200. Okay, so because we've added that, so you're definitely under 1,200. So we're talking. So many vehicles can match up to it, and I think that's the greatest part about it. Yes, yeah, too. Exactly. And they, and they get to enjoy all that. If I missed anything, we'll add it on later, man. But I appreciate you guys taking some time. We're looking at this awning. This is part of your options, right? It's 180. 230 fat wing awning. Yeah, real proven stuff. Well, thank you guys. Thanks, Grant. Thank you very much. Guys. Thank you, Kate.